Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how you can recover data from your Apple Time Capsule by making use of a recovery software in just a matter of minutes. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'll make use of a recovery software that is designed to recover data from an Apple Time Capsule, which even you can download by just visiting this site and hitting on the download now button to download this for your Mac OS. So I'll run the software on my Apple Time Capsule and show you how you can recover back data using this particular software. Okay, so getting back to the software. Here's how the application looks like after it's been installed and launched on your Mac. So this is the main screen of the application and all you find on the main screen are three buttons that are recover files, recover photos and recover volumes or drives. Okay, so in order to recover data from an Apple Time Capsule, just click on the third button that you see here that has recover volumes or drives. Next select volumes recovery. On next screen you'll find all the devices that are connected to your Mac. So all you're supposed to do here is just select the Time Capsule and then proceed ahead by clicking on the next button. And on next screen the software gives you a list of all different partitions that were found in the time capsule from which you're looking to recover data. So all you're supposed to do here is just select the partition or the volume from which you're looking to recover data and click on the next button. And here there are two scanning methods provided by this software. There are standard scan and advanced scan. Make sure you select advanced scan which is more powerful and will make sure that all your files are recovered back without fail. And if you're looking to recover any specific data from your time capsule, then you can select those specific files which are presented on this screen. Else if you're looking to recover back the entire data, just skip this step by clicking on the skip button that you see down here. Okay, so now the software begins to recover back all the data from my time capsule. This might take a few minutes, so I'll just wait for the recovery process to complete. After which, I'll be presented with all the data that was recovered from it, which can then be restored to a folder on my Mac. And the recovery is completed, and these are all the files and folders that were recovered from my time capsule. Like I already said, I'll be recovering back and restoring the entire list that will be recovered from my time capsule. So what I'm going to do is, I'll select the root folder, which in turn selects the entire list that was recovered from my time capsule. I'll then click on the save button that I see down here which will let me save this data to a folder on my Mac. And here I'll select a folder which I've already created on the desktop which you can see here. And I'll click on save. And as you can see here the software now starts to save back the recovered data to this folder. This might take a few minutes so I'll just wait for the saving to complete. After which I'll go back to this folder to check if the entire process of recovery and saving was successful. And we're done with the saving process, so I'll go back to the target folder to check if the saving as well as recovery was successful. And here's the root folder which contains all the recovered data from my time capsule. And here you can see that all the data has been successfully saved to this folder. So this simple to recover back data from your Apple Time Capsule by making use of a recovery software that is designed to perform this task. So if you are looking to recover data, you can just visit the link that I provided below and download the software on your Mac. So as you can see, it just took a few minutes to recover back data from my Apple Time Capsule. So stop worrying if you lost data and get the software at the earliest and recover back all your data. Thanks for watching.